and look who it is. It's my long lost buddy. You made it, stranger. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Did you, are you uh, looking for me or? Yeah. I, um. What happened? So the route that Google Maps gave me ended up in um, a private road that went behind a farm. lane fast call it high speed i've been working hard yeah. hey guys thanks for tuning back into the channel today i'm in southern alberta at the porcupine hills and i'm riding with my buddy andrew finally i got a riding partner to go with this will be my last ride in alberta for the for this year anyway uh, i'm going to be moving to ontario for a few months to do a work contract and i'll be hitting some trails over there because i'm going to bring the rm with me but uh, today it's a beautiful day here in the porcupine hills they also call it the porkies and uh, just an awesome day to go riding it's nice and cool it's something that we're going to go in and explore we don't know the place too much but there's a lot of beaten trails down so i'm sure we'll find some action and we'll definitely get into some fun Fun, uh, fun riding techniques. Uh, I'm on my RM125 as you know in the last video. This will be his first maiden voyage into the trail. 250. 250. I, I gotta get used to saying that because <laughs> I'm a 125 guy so it's uh, it's it's you know something that is gonna be funny to try to wrap my around it. So just a little bit of a, a note here. If I say 125 just double it add 25 to that and then we got my 250. Anyway Andrew's on his 2019 Husqvarna TE300 TE300 TE300i So this is going to be proper for these trails. I mean it comes with the 18 inch tire. It's an enduro bike It's got the suspension set up. It's fuel injection. It's a great bike This is something that you know a lot of people here are riding just because that's the appropriate bike for these trails It's built for this terrain where mine is more for track However, it doesn't mean you can't get out with your buddies and have fun. Uh, run with what you brung is what I say. So this is going to be uh, on camera. Javier Andrew doesn't have an action camera, so it'll just be a point of view mostly. And he'll be in front of me, so we'll get a lot of action from him. And of course, it'll be point of view on my RM1, uh, RM250. Almost said the 125. <laughs> so anyway, guys, yeah, I'm looking forward to running. It's running good. I did take it for a little bit of a, a boot here waiting for Andrew. He kind of got lost on the trail, but uh, we all got together and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Google got me lost. Google Not got him lost. Phone. Google said I could go through some farmer's private road, which was gated and locked. So, <laughs> which resulted in almost an hour's backtrack to get here. But I'm here. And we're going. Lesson learned. Don't count on Google when you're in the backcountry. That'll take you to places you've never been and places you don't want to be. Wise words. Wise words. So yeah, so we're just going to kick, I'm going to kick mine in the guts, get it warmed up. Of course, Andrew's got his, uh, you know, luxurious, uh, uh, you know, push start. My princess bike. His pinches bike. So yeah, guys, uh, the Porky's looking beautiful. Look at this area. We got a lot of riders out there, so probably meet a few. We're gonna probably get into some awesome scenery and uh, yeah, let's get this ride, uh, let's get the show on the road, shall we? So guys, we're off. Andrew and I are uh, finally hitting the, the trails. That's nice. All right, let's go up this hill. First 
Chef Hamilton here. Woo. So guys, yeah, we're just uh, hitting some pretty nice single track. I guess a quad trail can come in here. A lot of racing. Beautiful views. The temperature's just gorgeous right now, so we're just gonna you go. We gotta get some camera action. Oh my god, having a big block 250 over my 125 is pretty crazy. We're just taking it easy. I'm not uh I hope that wasn't a fork in the trail. Whew. Trying to see some. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Well, so far, Damien's bike has got bite, but uh, she's climbing nice. I'm just putting through the trail because I don't. Oh yeah, you definitely need the torque specs to do some real climbs here. Oh my God, this is a climb. Ah, am I on an airline? You're gonna have to help me with this! Alrighty guys! That was a, a hill climb I wasn't prepared for. fall actually I fell I came a long way to see what the shouting was all about frankly I'm a little disappointed yeah I just didn't have enough uh, throttle oh yeah no worries bikes want to stay upright oh do they ever I actually went halfway down the hill so long as you're moving. Uh, you and then when I came to a stop There you go. It's a little wet from leaky gas. Here comes Andrew. Nastiest hill climb I've seen. Oh, there we go. Woohoo! There we go. Oh, another one. That knocked my camera off. More challenges. Whew. We'll be right back. We'll be right back after these scheduled messages. 
Woo. Is that it? Well guys, that was the ride. Hope you enjoyed it. There's been some tumbles and some big spills, but we did pretty good other than that. We're gonna load up the bikes now. We're gonna head on home. Once again, I'm gonna be heading to Ontario to do some riding for a few months. That'll be on the next couple episodes. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining. If you're new here, hit like and subscribe. And welcome to Soupy Socks Enduro because we're gonna be doing a lot more single track riding in the upcoming months. So guys, stay loose and we'll catch you on the next episode. What now? Now go.